Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so today I want to share a website with you and uh, it's a great tool that uh, pretty much skyrocketed my uh, my Excel modeling. Uh, it's this thing called Mockaroo.com and um, it helps you generate uh, like randomized mock data, so sample data. Uh, ever since I started uh, writing articles on financial analysis and doing some Excel videos and uh, doing some models uh, for friends and for workshops, I found that uh, probably the hardest part of everything is to prepare proper data because I can't just go ahead and use data from the company that I work at because this data is confidential and uh, if you have access to data for a specific company, it's probably not a great idea to use this data uh, unless you have like a written permission. So um, I spent a lot of time trying to find some online tools, some online databases that you can use and uh, there are a lot of those but not for financial data. So about two months ago, I found this website, Mokaroo.com. Uh, it pretty much gives you access to uh, more than a hundred uh, field types that you can use to generate your own mock data. And uh, it's completely free and uh, free to use however you like, up to a thousand rows of data. So I just wanna uh, make clear that uh, this video is in no way sponsored, it's just my honest opinion. By the way, if you uh, enjoy watching my videos, uh, I noticed that 93% of my uh, viewers are non-subscribers, so I'd really appreciate a sub and uh, also a thumbs up. I just wanna quickly show you how it works and probably you're gonna grasp the benefit uh, that it has, so let's just go ahead. So uh, you go immediately to the uh, mockaroo.com interface. You can see that you can get a thousand rows of realistic mockup mock data for free uh, in different formats. They have some pricing options to get even more. The best part is that their terms of use is that the data generated may be used for any purpose except uh, creating a derivative uh, application. So like a data generator. So the way it works is you get the fields uh, and you can add new fields, delete them. You have 143 types of fields, uh, pretty much anything, location, commerce, everything related to products, uh, some advanced like JSON array, stuff like that, and other categories. A pretty extensive list of data types. Then just give them some names and that's the way it works. And you remember the pivot tables video? This is the data set that we used. That's how I generated it on uh, Mokuru. So I have uh, my ID, which is the row number, email address, uh, some IP address, a value of the sale uh, between 150 and uh, 850. Also have the department name, the credit card type, the country, gives you an option even to restrict countries. I wanted to have like a fake company name for the supplier that I used and uh, the percentage I calculated using this uh, formula field that you can apply to pretty much anything. So I wanted it to be between zero and 50%. So I gave it one to 10 uh, as a minimum and maximum. So it's gonna pick a number between one and 10 and then it's gonna get this and multiply it by five. So that way I'm gonna get between five and 50%. And I want this to only happen for 15% of my sales so I specified that 85% uh, have to be blank. And uh, the last thing added was a date uh, in the period of 2019 because this is the sales that I wanted to present. And uh, that's pretty much it. Select Excel, although CSV would work just fine. Click download. And here's our data in Excel. Uh, let me just zoom it up a bit so uh, make it a bit easier for you to see, guys. So we have everything here uh, exactly uh, as we specified. And we have 1000 rows. That's the maximum that you can get for free. So keep in mind that department, credit card type, supplier, country, those fields are gonna have some repetition in them and there's no way to make them unique. At least I haven't found a way. And uh, our uh, percentage, we can calculate it to make it easier. So what I'm gonna do is if uh, the discount percentage is uh, different than zero, then I want this divided by 100 because it's a percentage multiplied by the sales amount. And uh, you see that because you specified sales amount as money, 
it's uh, given me like proper um, values like with numbers behind the decimal point. And that's it, we can do a lot more with the data. We can, let's say, use the date to uh, calculate the month using the month formula. And it actually works this time. There are a lot of times, I don't know why, maybe some regional settings, but sometimes the date is not recognized as a date. And then when we, let's say, create a pivot table, we can do some reasonability checks. So see that uh, sales are pretty much uh, similar. Uh, usually what I do is use the min and max function and I actually included the total for the min, doesn't matter, but I'm gonna exclude it for the, for the max. And I can see that my sales are between 34,000 and 49,000, which is pretty okay. Maybe the business is a bit seasonal, uh, but uh, the thing is that it's usable for, uh, for a mock data. And uh, that's pretty much it, as simple as that. Okay guys, that was it, mockaroot.com. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Best uh, mock data generation tool that I found online, especially for uh, financial data. So Mokuru changed the way I approach uh, financial modeling uh, because now I have access to, to usable uh, data of a pretty great quality, which uh, makes it much easier to prepare financial models and try out different scenarios. So um, yep, go ahead, check, um, definitely check Mokuru uh, out and um, Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. Two months uh, back. Uh, so about two months ago. I saw I, oh yes. Literally changed, literally, figuratively. And um, by the way, <clears throat> Um, yeah.